Come on, Tamaki. Come on, Tamaki. Come on, Tamaki. Why this a taxi driver yeah need for the run cow Yeah man I run fall No sir Yo likewise yeah some passengers you know get another driver them skin we have to talk on both sides or no come for me now Alright Let me know what you think down in the comment section so they are alleging that the the, the driver um run the girl out of the car run the passenger out of the car and still collect 200 dollars and she didn't reach her destination i don't know what disagreement they have but all i know is that you guys saw the video for yourself the driver is extremely mad and not not talk for nobody yeah man likewise the passenger too I go at the driver same way, you know, and I cuss the bad word the man some same way. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Jamaica YouTube TV, what them know about the P and them I get a yard fail and they cut. So we get in now we at the hill. Mummy, if you fry the chicken back fat, we get the hill. Still a fee of feet, panton can mail. Quell them, you don't know I'm puking the secret representing for Jamaica YouTube TV, the baddest TV. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Well, I don't think I need to remind anybody to like, subscribe, and share because by now, only for the more, the ropes are ready. Now, JY family, this is a very shocking news regarding this beautiful teacher that is on your screen right now. Right now, the whole of Cornwall College have mourned this teacher sudden passing. Read classes have been suspended at the Cardinal College in St. James as a school teacher has been plunged into mourning following the sudden death of a uh, Spanish teacher on Sunday morning. She is 41-year-old Kamika Warren. Grief counseling will be provided at the school for students and staff. As a result, students are asked to remain at home. School resume on Tuesday for the boys. JYTV Newsroom understands that Warren was admitted on Saturday at the Carnal Regional Hospital in Montego Bay after complaining of difficulty breathing. So Saturday she go in and then Sunday she gone. The educator who was the head of the department for Spanish at Cornwall is said to have been employed to the all boys school for over a decade. So my condolences goes out to the teachers, all the staff and the family, everybody. Spam the comment section, JY family, please, and hit the like button and share the video, please. It is very important. We have a lot of things we're going to give you in this one. Now, in this report, we are going to turn up the thing now because regarding to the Carning report right now. And at my place, you know, yeah, man, woman gone down in Westmoreland, man injured. Detectives assigned to the Westmoreland Criminal Investigation Branch have commenced a probe into Saturday night canning death of a woman. The injury of a man in Brighton District, Little London, in the parish. This is, has been identified as a 44-year-old Michelle 
Bremer Reed of Brighton District reports from the Savlama police are that about 9.30 p.m. residents heard explosion and summoned them and the arrival of the law enforcers. Bremer Reed was seen lying face down on the road with car wounds. Bear in mind that this is a woman we are talking about, you know. Yeah, man, the man and I play, they know business about gender. You remember first time the man them used to take care of the woman them? Yeah, from a dirt, a dirt, that them I say. She was pronounced at hospital. The injured man was assisted to hospital by residents where he is admitted for treatment. Spam the comment section and tell me what to think about this situation. Why them um, calling up this lady? I will not hear no robbery. No robbery not in the report unless somebody report missing. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. No, moving on right now. As me telling you, I have a whole heap of things. And remember, some me work, me hardly can keep up so much things is going on. I go try to go uh, three vlogs today because I will eat me miss out, man. JUTC in mourning after three workers dies hours apart. I don't know what you know. Employee of the Jamaica Urban Transit Company, JUTC, have been plunged into mourning following the passing of three of their own within a matter of hours. Three male workers of the state own bus company passed away on saturday in unrelated circumstances the men have been identified as adrian marriott winston malcolm and glenn clark a co-worker of the men who spoke with the observer online under the condition of anonymity that means say this person where nobody know who is giving out this information you see me you want to remain anonymous no more to the tell me how this sound let me go into the full report so they are saying that as he is not authorized to speak to the media said Marriott and Malcolm died of natural causes while Clark fell off a roof in a freak accident Glendon dropped off the roof as me say, him drive the 308 bus past me yard every morning. Him blow him, him, blow him hand and me always I tell him say, don't wake up my wife when ya pass. That are the man I talk to the observer, you know. And I tell, tell him, tell them what's going on. So we always jovial when we see each other at work are off the work the employee said he further shared that marriott was con two hours ago but had since returned to the job hmm however he said the no disease was a diabetic so we had him con up marriott get con up come at work and then because my why anyway me got you because I be a banger and I go on so he died in hospital him get shoot up one morning at the bus stop waiting on the staff bus and a car pass and shoot him up anyway him go in the hospital and him recover but he was diabetic said the employee as far Malcolm known affectionately as sleepy the co-worker said he passed away following an operation in that the death have cast gloom over JUTC staff sleepy was a driver the manager brother him do an operation I am off to work no and me don't even feel the vibes to go a work but me I go sit down with the rest of staff them today, the employee said, adding that the last of his co-worker hit especially hard because they enjoy a sense of among each other. Observer online reach out to the JUTC for comment 
but the head of communication said that she could not immediately speak on the incidents. JY family, what do you think about them here? Why these things not report to the media? How it cover up? How it not come out in an official police report? There is so many questions surrounding these things. <laughs> anyway, comment down below. Me tell you say all the things me have. Let me move on. Listen to this report. Woman get can for asking man to pay to enter sent a nightclub. Make that sink in. A woman was can and injured after she asked a man to pay before entering a nightclub at CLM in Runaway Bay sent on on Saturday night. The injured woman has since been hospitalized, the police said. Reports reaching Observer Online indicated that around 8.32 p.m. the woman was at the nightclub when a man was about to enter the establishment. The now injured woman called out to him and told him that he had to pay $500 to enter. Hmm. The man said went over to the woman and started a conversation with her. Said man then pulled out a firearm from his waist and fired three shots hitting the woman in her upper body. My God! Gunman then escaped on foot in the area. A unit from the St. and Highway Patrol arrived in the area and rushed the woman to hospital where she is admitted. Listen to me. This is a style. A style the man used a long time. The man ya want dirt the woman ya. She lucky. She lucky. Yeah. The man know exactly why he do. The man know say him half a pay in the club. But guess what? Him just go there for the lady walk up to to him and then him can get for the way he wanna do. Wanna talk to me in the comment section? And tell me what you think. I realize the amount of story in this one video so far, and we still not done it. That for sure, you and me still have a whole heap of story where we miss out on doing the vlogs, them and work. When you miss a, a one day upload, it come like say a 10 day you miss because the amount of things are going on. 13 year old Khan has gunmen shoot up an ice cream parlor in Hanover. A boy, a 13 year old boy was caught and injured when gunmen attacked an ice cream parlor along the South Spring Main Road in Green Island, Hanover on Saturday night. The, the boy, a student from St. James, was buying ice cream with his mother when the incident occurred, police said. He has since been hospitalized. Reports are that about. 8 47 pm the child was at the ice cream shop when a motorcycle drove up with two men the pillion then opened gunfire in the direction of the parlor hitting the boy he was immediately rushed by his mother to hospital where he was treated for a gunshot wound to the upper left section of his back. He was later admitted in a stable condition. No motive has been established for the attack, the police said. So up to your favorite um, kind of shop where you like to go on a Sunday or, or, or any given day, the jerk vendor. This local shop in your area, you can't go there because you don't know who in and out with, with who. <laughs> Yo, it wicked, it dread. Jano, I'm glad the local youth are still I'm up and running so far. But boy, it wicked. Listen to me. I could go all day, but I don't want to jaw out this video. We got 15 minutes. I come back with another video. So, share the one here. Yeah? And make people them know I go and please and like up the video, like up the video, man. 
press all the dislike button if you don't like a board in a me. Yo, you know something like the, the boy about Jano, he always a bring things, the man, he always a try. Yeah, man, as I work in you, yeah, man, he might go above and beyond. Like the video, dislike it, man, it's all good, not the wrong. This is Kanaika representing for Jamaica YouTube TV from straight out of Grangeville. Like, share, and subscribe. Me love Jamaica, me not sell out. Them try clip we wings, somehow we can't fly out. But when we there, yeah, nothing nice like Jamaica. Roast bread, fruit, and banana. Under the tree with a glass of